Hi to everyone, this is Kokila Priya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today I am going to discuss about Computer Networks Unit 5. The first one is a simple transport protocol, the example service primitives. Data transmission has precisely the same problem as connection establishment. Sending is active but receiving is passive. We will use the same solution for data transmission as for connection establishment. An active call send that transmits data on a passive call receive that blocks until a TPDU arrives. Count, connection count state service definition therefore consists of five primitives connect, listen, disconnect, send and receive. Each primitive corresponds exactly to a library procedure that executes the primitive. The parameter for the service primitive and the library procedures are as follows. Con con connection number equal to listen of local, connection number equal to connect, local, comma, remote. Then status equal to send, then connection number, comma, buffer, comma, bytes, status equal to receive. Connection number, comma, buffer, comma, bytes. Stas status equal to disconnect connection number. The listen primitive announces the caller's willingness to the concept connection. Uh, accept connection request directed at the indicated TSEP. The user of the primitive is blocked until an attempt is made to connect to it. There is no timeout. The connect, the connect primitive takes two parameters, a local TSEP transport addresses local and remote tcp remote and tries to establish a transport connection between the two if it succeeds it returns in connect connection number a non negative number used to identify the connection on subsequent calls if it fails the reason for failure is put in consume as a negative number the send primitive transmit the contents of buffer as a message on the indicated if it succeeds, it returns in connection number a non-negative number used to identify the connection on subsequent calls. If it fails, the reason for failure is put in consume as a negative number. The send primitive transmit the contents of the buffer as a message on the indicator. Transport connection in several units if need, need be. Possible errors written in status or no connection. Illegal buffer address or negative count. The receive primitive indicates the caller's decide to accept data. The size of the incoming message is placed in bytes. If the remote process has released the connection or the buffer address is illegal outside the program user's program, status is set to an error code indicated the nature of the problem. The disconnect primitive determinates a transport connection. The parameter connection number tells which one. Possible errors are connection number belongs to another process or connection number is not a valid connection identifier. The error code or zero for success is returned in status. The example transport entity. The transport layer max use of the network service primitives to send and receive TPDUs. For this example, we need to choose network service primitives to use. One choice would have been unreliable datagram service. To keep this example simple, we have not made that choice with unreliable datagram service. The transport code would have been large and complex, mostly dealing with lost and delayed packets. In general, the transport entity may be part of the host operating system or it may be package of library routines running within the user's address space. For simplicity, our example has been programmed as though it were a library package but the changes needed to make it part of the operating system are minimal primarily how user's buffers are accessed. Next, connection uh, connection not established yet ideal waiting. Connection has been executed and a call request sent. Queued. A call request has not arrived. No listen yet. Established. The connection has been established. Sending. The user is waiting for permission to send a packet. Receiving. A receive has been done. Disconnecting. A disconnecting has been done locally. 
transitions between states can occur when any other other of the following events occur a primitive is executed a packet arrives or the timer expires the xlm as a finite state machine writing a transport entity is difficult and exacting work especially for more realistic protocols to reduce the chance of making an error if it is often useful to represent the state of the protocol as a finite state machine it is also possible to isolate 12 events that can move a connection from one state to another five of these events are the five service primitives and the six are the arrivals of the six legal packet types thank you